<laughs> you would do that. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to Heart Returning in the Stable Studio. This is not going to go well. I know it's not going to go well. I've got my tea at least, so we're okay. Let me introduce you to these. I'd like to call them friends, but it's just a stretch of the imagination, I think. <laughs> Here we go. How are you? Somebody's got their... Uh, Sorry. Mute, mute, mute. Was that you, Steve? Sorry. Oh, dear, dear, dear. We have uh, Mike, who's not going to say anything now because he's he says he's mute. We've got Steve. Good evening. So rap a lot. We've got... <laughs> Good evening. Jesus. Oh, dear. We've got Terry Bray. He's not going to say anything either because he's just in a mood. And we've got Pete from Twisted Trees. Hello, everybody. He's only a couple minutes late tonight. <laughs> the silence is because of Mike Wald. Hello, I can't keep quiet. There quiet. he Hello. goes. I knew he, couldn't, <laughs> I knew he couldn't keep quiet for about two months. He nearly we'll made 30 going, seconds. Let me see. How long have we been going? 30 seconds. Ah, you uh, useless Wald. Cheers, Steve. Thanks, mate. Right, these guys are going to help and guide me through this turning off a uh, Morris and Dan. No, sorry. No, sorry. <laughs> Pastel and mortar. It's, it's oh, one okay. of these. One of these. I, I can never say it right, so uh, it's one of these. There you go and finish. How about that? Grinding pot. That was quick, yeah. It's a, a, a mortar, this bit, and a, a pestle. A pestle. It said pestle, and there's no t. It doesn't have a t. It's a silent t. It's a silent t. Yeah. So that's what we're turning, guys. Like having a pee in a swimming pool, you keep it silent. This is going to be a decorative mortar and pestle because I haven't got the right timber. So this is a piece of. Sorry? Pestle wood. I think, I think this is a piece of ash. Yeah. Pestle wood. Looks like pestle wood. A bit right. small on my screen because you're, you're all showing right. all of us, but it looks like a bit and of And this is a piece of uh, like oak. oak. Okey dokey. So we're just going to make it out of that. Be a, be just be a decorative piece. We're just making it for the fun of it. <laughs> so I'll get started making this. We're just by roughing out the outside and uh, put my safety goggles on first. Yeah. Chuck us in the background so I can open a beer surreptitiously. Uh, you don't have to be syrup, does you just open it? Get in the bike, right? There you go. Yeah, tins, tins of beer opening everywhere except for in Steve's, because Steve doesn't drink. I'll tell you what. Sorry. Um, they're all right. No, you're fine. No, gone after you, mate. Age four, beauty. Half, a, half inch ball, guys. Turn the speed down <laughs> and get the lace started. You guys can tell me who's in. I was going to say I'm a good boy, but I was there, Rafael. Yeah, uh, I was just going to say you was certainly better than you're turning, Brian. <laughs> 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 right, well, I shall do it. Jennifer's Craft and Creations is the first one in today. Gerard the French Turner, obviously, we've got SK. Yeah, Craft, that's, so cool. that's far too high. high. Feet from just drop that down trees. half a uh, Further, there we go. Uh, Lewis Klondike Crasson, Michelle Oosby, Oosby, Trevor Reed, Tommy's Workshop, uh, Rob Copperell, we're turning, Keith Jarvis. Carrying on down, Paul Kavanagh, score 60. <coughs> uh, oh, I hope I don't need the mouse again because it's on Tourette the floor. Turner. Dave Oti, the Tourette's Turner, Paul, I think I've said. I've got to scroll down with this mouse thing again. Uh, Terry Barton's in. Um, still going down. Nearly there, I think, on mine, yeah. Andrew from Wivey Woodshed. Excuse me a second while I rescued the mouse that just fell on the floor. Yeah, that's right. And the battery. Susie, Susie the Swiss Turner's in as well. Mark the Gentleman Wood Turner. Tony Smith. Oh, hello. Well, well. <laughs> just make sure it's still working. David Vaughan is in. James Crawford is in. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, <laughs> Trying to, I'm trying to constipate. Be quiet, Michelle. Doug Miller's in. And, uh, Hi, Doug. Robert from Hodgepodge Woodworks is in. Hi, Robert. We're getting there. Barry Spread Creations. Hi, Barry. Trying to Barry. That's the two Barrys. The York should get us in. Oh, Glenn. Oh, hello, Glenn. <laughs> Like 
Patrick Hanley's in. I think I'm nearly there on Moss Green. It's a bit more. Roy's the boy. And that's almost about it, I think. Let's have a look. Nick Castle's in. Tidy shed. Control this nice business when I'm. And I think that fills it so far, unless I've missed anybody. Did you say Benjamin? Uh, I didn't say Benjamin. Clive Rogerson as well. I didn't. Sorry, Benjamin's in then. Nick and Stace. <laughs> just trying to ignore no, Ben. Zombie the Returner. Hi, Zed. How you doing, bud? Hi, Zed. I think that's all my, that's all ones in the moment. Anybody new? Malcolm Douglas is new. No, we didn't. I missed him. Oh, Malcolm. I'm sorry for that, but I'm... Uh... I'd, I'd like to say hello and welcome to everybody. And also, hello to Mark. Would you like to turn the gain down on your microphone, uh, Mike? Because when you say hello, it just crackles. And we... Wow. I shouted, that's why. That's I, may have to le I may have to leave this big... Um... Part conclusion here. Well, you can lose an inch off the bottom, can't you? Well, I'm going to lose. If I tell you what you're telling on there and lost a bit, then it will get back to a bigger direct diameter. Well, I hate to tell you, for, for the turners with less experience, that's not a bark inclusion, that's a flat. Your microphone's terrible. Is a flat? It? Yeah, awful. Oh. Gaz and Dave Woodworks joined us. And, um, Hi, guys. Jared, the French Turner says that he thinks we should get a, they should all get a refund because Brian is always late. Oh, good job late. YouTube's free. Good job yeah. YouTube is free then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you actually, we'll give you a hundred percent refund. Uh, okay. Yeah. Jared, hundred percent Every, refund, mate. Everybody can have a month's subscription for free. Free, yep. <laughs> refund, <laughs> refunds are in the post. Split later. Seth from oh, British Craft Works has just joined as well. Is that, like is that any better? Is that better? That's, Sorry, that's Mike. Better. Did you say something? <laughs> say, say again, is, Mike. Is that any better? Still yes, very crackly, is. very gainy, though. Really? Yeah. It is better. It's not it's better. better it's not like yeah, it was it's earlier oh, when you first so came in. Robert wants to know what's the proper girth of a pestle to fit in the hole you're putting in the ash. Depending on the what? size of the ash. You're making it to fit, Robert. Hello, hello, hello. Spider, spider spins in. That's fine. Hello, spider. We'll get a ten tenant on that. That'll be grand. Yeah, that flat's less less of a problem now. It's yeah, an inclusion. It's an inclusion. A it's a, it's it's a back inclusion. inclusion. It's a flat. It's a this where girl gets a fence post and it got damaged. Yeah. Yeah, well, it did something. There was a whole big bit of bark on there, and I chipped it off. I should have left it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, a bit more to go yet. <clears throat> Try that. Oh, look at that. Perfect, yeah. Anybody would think I was learning, yeah? No, we won't. Not anymore. Well, I say anybody any, think I was learning. Any mistakes now is your own, not the learners. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's, that's a typical West Country comment. That that is your that is your own. Any mistakes? <laughs> I'm just a little bit. I'm a bit of shaving the bottom here. Ben said he can't hear us very well because Mike sounds awful, which is normal. Yeah. <laughs> Brian is too loud. Stephen Pete sounds good. Because they're not oh, talking. Good. He can't hear Terry at all, obviously, because he hasn't mentioned him, but he says it also the budgets are very loud. What budgets? <laughs> the budgets. Well, his budgets. <laughs> but they're mine. Oh, his budgets. <laughs> oh, his budgets. Uh, uh, is that budgies or budgie smugglers? Budgie smugglers. <laughs> 
<laughs> Is that like the burglars? <laughs> <laughs> Is it still crackly? Yeah, it's yeah a little bit. Yeah, a little it's, bit. It's crackly still, yeah. I don't know, you have That's a loose weird. connection, but it sounds like a loose connection, but obviously it's not a hardware plug, is it? Is it? It's not hardware, no. I'll, I'll turn off and I'll disconnect. It might be the gain on the mic, I don't know whether or... I thought he said he was going to leave and come back there. I'll, I'll, I'll just leave. I won't bother coming back. Yay! Poor <laughs> mic. Yeah. Talk to somebody who gives a poo. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say shit on you. This is definitely the wrong piece of wood for this job. Right. Disconnect. Well, Grandma Ruth tubes in. She's in, everyone. I'll try to watch most of the session. But still Hi, Ruth. playing through my Melly Valentine's cards. Phew. Hi, yeah, I think you thousands. <laughs> yeah. Mark Harvey's in as well. Uh, yeah, actually, I suppose she must have had some. Not from me, because it's Valentine's. It's supposed, to be, it's supposed to be secret, aren't they, you know? Can I card my back, Ruth, please? Go ahead and send it to you next year. Did you not put a return envelope in it? Of course I did. Not a stamp, though. <laughs> Enchanted Wood Designs has just joined us, as has Grandpa it's good. Jim. It's, good. it's good, but I'm not putting a stamp on it. Susie's asking about your rubber matting. This, this bit of rubber mat here, this green mat yeah. that's on the floor, does it look green? Oh, it's thinking, how, so, how soft is it? Uh, how soft is it? It's... Uh, <laughs> Spongy. Yeah, reasonably soft, but not too soft. It's actually well, a piece of a thing called Equimat. It's a leftover piece from a horse's stable. Oh, it's it's same basic idea. Off, My mine came from um, possibly a tool shop, but maybe halfway. I can't remember. Yeah, you can get it and in They're about it. 10 mil thick, so I've got one on top of the other. So. Yeah, you can get it over. It's getting axmiths to do it as well, but they're not yeah. that cheap. I got the Axminster one, and then I found out I you'd got, get it in. I got the cheapy off. stuff off um, off Amazon. In, uh, well, this this one, this one, this really mat locked, came locked, as locked. an eight, as a six by four sheet, and they cost about eighty five quid now. Okay. Yep. Oh yeah, Ruth. Ruth did get you on Valentine's, Mike. That was lovely. Thank you. Okay, my pleasure, Ruth. As I say, don't forget to send it back, please. Um. Lewis is on some strange yeah, anything that has... over there. He said, what a crazy day. Great to hear the calming, wise tone and words of Mr. Walt to end the day. <laughs> Lewis. I don't know what you're smoking, Lewis, what's, but you should see after. What's after? What's the Lewis. Lewis. I, think, yeah, I, think, yeah. I don't know you that well, but do me a favour. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I put resins and wood creations is in. Hi, Ever. Hi, David. Hi, Dave. MG Woodworks is in. Zed said, I always knew Brian had hooves. Mm -hmm. Walks like he has. The clover hoof. I just, I'm going to disconnect this Jabra Wabra and try again. I don't, I don't know why I picked this piece of wood. It's terrible. Is that a crack in there? Yeah. Um, There's a great big crack in here. Look. That's where the pith is. Right? Look at it. Uh, it is. It is. Should have turned it the other orientation. Yeah, yeah. should should have done it end grain instead mm. of bowl orientation. Now you could have used your ring tool. I could have. Don't like this at all. This is far too flat. Yeah, but mind you, make it easy to hold. Even if yeah, you can curve it down. I can. I, can, I, can, I don't want to curve it down much more though. So, at the bottom. Yeah, quite a bit because you need to hold the bottom of that when you're crushing stuff. Mm. If, you, if you're vigorously crushing and you can't get hold of it, it's not very good. Mm. And Hodgepodge says there's usually a nice cracking ass, just for your information. Is that any different? Okay. Hang on, wait for, wait for Brian to start making a noise. I'll remake this tannin again, the Mark. Yeah, it's very important, Brian, be quiet. Is that any good? Yeah, yeah it's better. 100%. Is that better? Yeah, yeah, it must, have, uh, yeah it must have been uh, a, a, a loose Bluetooth wave. Paul <laughs> <laughs> Finley joined us. Hello, Paul. Hi, Paul. Paul. Roy's got a question. He said, our ceiling's on fresh popular today, and the stump just broke apart. Yeah, Would that be because it? the tree blew down? <clears throat> um, possibly. Yeah. 
I have had rock, bits of tree that um, have been felled that have looked perfect, but when you cut into them, all of a sudden uh, a crack lets go. And I it's assume that well, that's where it hit the ground and fractured itself. Then when you start removing the tension, then, the, then that crack opens up. But I don't know about your individual situation. We'll reduce the volume a bit. What, the audio volume? Because it's out of a load. He's moaning tonight, isn't he? What? The, like volume of the volume of timber. We'll reduce that and see if you can get a bit more. Ah, that's better. Yeah, you're there. That's better. That should be fine now. Let's see if we get a decent cut on here now. It's a nice right. long tenon you got on there. I will I'll take it off again. <laughs> I'll make another one. It's going to make a little foot for us. Yeah. <laughs> so it's going to have a, when it's going a roll top down. A row bottom. Roll bottom. I was going to say, I hope it's got a rolled edge. It will have, Mike. <laughs> yeah, it. it will have. Well, I hope it does. Low sharp edges in Brian's shop, let me tell you. No. <laughs> Lewis said he did a lot of research on mortar and pestle. I've got deep grubber jaws, I'll just use them. <laughs> and the outcome, Lewis, was? Don't do one. Don't do one, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, in my experience, they, they vary from a, a 15 inch diameter bowl with a great big thumping stick for crushing corn. Mm -hmm. Down to something well, can, that you can crush a bit of herb in. They can actually be um, as much as two or three feet tall. Originally, they may have, may well have been the the the, the forerunner to milk churns. Can't make one that big. Terry will fall in. You won't never see him again. Oh, I'm gonna get out, will I? <laughs> see me feet sticking out the top. <laughs> woodworm pole is in now. The woodworm pole. Hi, Paul. Actually, quite difficult to get a, a kind of finishing cut on this because of the <laughs> skill level. Ben of the said we need an audio producer for these lives. <laughs> Someone to mix the audio levels and mute Terry. Yeah, well, Ben, I can mute you, Ben. Remember, I've got a blue spanner. <laughs> <clears throat> That's a big tenon on the bottom, there, Terry. Uh, it is. It? Yeah, that. it's on a, it's on a faceplate <laughs> ring, so we'll be able to take it off in a minute, guys. That's just to get rid of the crack or oh, that flat okay, spot yeah. that was at. So I just wasted a whole lot of timber there. Oh, well, I'm sure yeah. you'll spend the evening gluing it back together, won't you? All the shaving. <laughs> well, I'll need, I'll need, I'll need something to turn for next week. What do you do? Yeah. Make it with some resin and crush it back in, and then you know, yeah. it, you know <laughs> return it. Neil Leonard's joined. Hi, Neil. Hi, Neil. Hi, Neil. Hello, Neil. <coughs> yes, Tourette's, blue spanner and oh, a badge. Awesome right, the control. important information you need to know is the radius has to fit the curve of the bowl. So the radius of the pestle has to hit the curve of the bowl. I'm and confused the handle about that. has to clear the rim of the mortar. Correct. Yes. Need the, the handle needs to be longer than the depth of the bowl. It's caused me a whole lot of grief that flat. Yes, yeah, so it's flat, but it's caused me a whole lot of grief. Unless it's a really wide bowl, and then you don't have to because you can. Uh... You could colour that, Brian. That, that flat bit. <laughs> could make. Hmm. Not gonna, but I could. Yeah, you could do a lot of things. You could do a lot of things. What speed's that doing? Let's turn that wee bit. Taking a half decent finishing cut with this three eighths ball gauge. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Some lovely shavings. What's he, oh, what's he laughing at? Nothing. I just fell off that cut there laughing you. Look at that. Little angel hairs. Well, not angel hairs, but, but beautiful shavings. Yeah, Hodgepodge Woodwork says, you know, a tenon like that is not necessary. On an axe, Mr. Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dewey shed. All right, Dewey. Dewey's do, do got a oh, question. Dewey. My lathe is against the wall with a window, wondering what is a good dust hood system I can I can do to get most of the dust from sanding. Open the window. 
I was going to say. Oh, just because. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Open the window and put a fan behind you. <laughs> fan Sorry, Dewey. These English, these, these English honkies. I tell you. Sorry, I had to stop. <laughs> the actual trouble with the dust hood is it spreads the vacuum. That's uh, so the bigger the dust hood, the bigger the extractor you need to pull up, pull air through it. Hmm. So. <laughs> It would depend on what your extractor is. So remember what Mike said. Mike said last night about being comfortable when you finish rather than where you start. Did he? What he did? <laughs> did, he? <laughs> did he? Mike didn't hear that. That sounds like sensible <laughs> advice. That's unlike Mr. Ward. No, I was I was reading out of this book I got. <laughs> oh right. <laughs> I'm loud, obviously. Yeah. I was well, listening. I was listening too. How, how about that? <laughs> how impressed are you now? Oh. I stopped listening to him years ago. Absolutely. Over the moon I am. And I'll just I'll just let that come in just a tiny little bit there. Right. Tiny Wood Designs has been asked a few times for more from Pestle, but they are choosy on the finish. They want it natural, kind of oil. Shellac, etc., but not poly, etc. The only kind of finish you should put on it is uh, none, none really. But if you have to think about anything, walnut oil, walnut oil is the recommended way to go, apparently, according oh, to the American Wood Turners Association. Yeah, but they, they're oh. obsessed with walnut oil. Yeah, that but in England, it doesn't matter. Oh, probably. Tongue oil is the way to go in. in uh, yeah. I use you oil on all my stuff. Are you with you oil? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> that sounds a bit right. That just, just sounds perfect. Oh, you you day, any finish you put on something that's going to get washed up, it's yeah. going to get damaged, it's going to come off. So if you make sure your wood's safe, don't put any finish at all on it. No. Right. Dewey says he's got a he'll fix window so it won't open, guys. I've got an Axminster hobby chip. 1.5 horsepower. Uh, I'll take it that's got a four inch um, input. Yeah, yeah. So, what I've got is similar to that with a four inch pipe. And I've used the Stay Fast pipe, which fixes in position. Use my you can move thin it. Thin part two of that, I think. And I'll just use the pipe the, because of the one hour, 1.5 horsepower motor. That'll, if you've got the pipe, just the four inch piece and move it to where you want it, <laughs> takes a lot more in than I put an effort on it. Concentrate the pressure off, Brian. Yep, just what it's going to do, Pink. Leo says snake oil, perhaps. Snake oil, yeah, <laughs> venomous snake oil. Snake oil or oh, hobbit oil, that's good as well. I take the pressure off and just cut this off, this last little bit off with a is that in a small tin, Mike? Cool shot, just like that. And it, only doing small and extra small. Sorry. They only so do that it in bolt is big enough for small. my hand now, and actually that little bit of flat helps you get your fingers gets a grip. Let me just finish to move that out of the way. And we'll just run a gouge across the bottom just to flatten that. We'll be taking it off later anyway, but we'll just run the gouge over it. <clears throat> just for the sake of it. <laughs> Forever Peace says he's got an early start tomorrow morning to get to Liverpool Docks. Another oh. trip to Northern Ireland to see the family. Oh, well yep. Everybody in Northern Ireland who wants something brought in from the UK, just contact Trevor now and he'll get it ordered for you and delivered. Yeah, he already sent me a message about two weeks ago. But unfortunately, I don't need anything. Well, Jappy's Jappy, Jappy showing. Hello, Jappy. Long time no see. Oh, yeah. Mm. There we go. That just made that look better. Doesn't need, didn't need to do that. Just did it anyway. So let's have a quick look at sanding that up. Did you, you get, get the mark, flat bit mark out? Center. Yes. The cracks just right at the very bottom. Yeah, I don't know. Not, you I, get the I mark get... center, Brian. If you need it. That's it. There you go. Might need it. For the yeah, I'll thing, need Brian, that when I reverse my <clears throat> Hey, don't start. Let's don't fill work. that with glue, the yeah, crack. Yeah, I'll put a little bit more CA down that, I think. 
<coughs> All right. I'm doing now. Sand and cedar do first. Before. Do it before you, you finish the cut. If you finish the sand, if you put sand and cedar on it first, it won't stick all over your wood. Sand on it first. Sanding. Starting to sand. I'm going to sand. <clears throat> I'm going to sand them in the half now. I'm going, I'm going to go to the corner and cry. <coughs> For the turner with less experience, the reason Pete said put it Me. on before you finish it is because if you put it on now and it doesn't go all the way down and you take any more off, you basically won't have any CA left. So just before you put your finish on, you put the CA on. Is that right, Pete? No, completely wrong. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. That's why I said it. Hard from I always say, if you, if you if you've got a crack, put the CA on there. Um, the cut before the final cut. And if it spreads through the top of the wood and it uh, stains it, it doesn't matter. You're going to cut that bit off anyway. Exactly. It'll still seep down to the crack. Yeah. And you've got a nice clean edge on it. Not going to see you now. I'm in the hut now. Zed's got to go. See you later, Zed. See you, Zed. Hi, Zed. Nice to see Hi, you, Zed. Mate. Hi, Zed. Oh, I've got to go to the top. Has Zed got a premier tonight, I wonder? I don't know. He says he's got to go back to work. Uh, Lewis has got a premier tonight. Well, not a premier. It's just a video. Oh, it's just a video. So it won't be listed on his channel until 10.30 p.m. GMT. But uh, if you go to Lewis's channel... Yeah. Um, It'll, it'll turn up there at 10 30 ish. We'll stick a link in before the end of the live. Yeah. The flat is playing havoc. Playing havoc. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I still think, I still think that little foot's too small for it. It'll fall over. This little foot here? Yeah. No, no, the little bit at the end. Oh, this little bit here? Yeah, yeah. Might, that'll, yeah. Be, that'll be a tenner, mate. Oh, it'll be uh, a tenner, mate. Ned said he's got a premiere on Thursday this week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, okay. Hodgepodge. You power par the flat. Right. Quick question from Hodgepodge. For a mortar, is it preferred to have it at an end grain bowl, or is that worse, mm. as the pores mm. can get filled with random spices? End grain bowl. Hmm. It doesn't matter, does it, if you're sealing it? You shouldn't yeah, be sealing seal. it. I know, I know you, seal them. You'll be sealing it with warning oil, won't you? I mean, yeah. I'm not sealing it with anything today. Well, I'm just because oh. this is decorative, I'm just going to... Oh, it's going to be full of random spices then. Lewis Klondike Craftsman says, Tonight's video he's putting out is a result of Brian's YouTube influence on the youth of Canada. Oh, my Ooh. God. Poor. Brian's reached across the pond. God help the youth of Canada. What's that, <laughs> It's like cherry picking in the killer killing fields, then. <laughs> it better be good, then, Lewis. Better I'd be. See, my, my version or my view on a, a spice mortar is it's like the Irish stew thing. You never finish the pot, you never clean the pot. No. You just add stuff to it. Yeah, that's right. So, those spices that do get ground into the grain, they just become part of the whole flavour. <clears throat> I keep telling my wife that when it's turned time to wash up. If you don't wash a dinner plate up, after a while it gets a hard crust on it and nothing's going to go through it. It's perfectly I clean. Know, it? Just peel it off. I think yeah. if, I, if, if you have a look at some information on uh, mortars and pestles, you'll see that uh, most of them, in the early days of thousands of years ago when they first started, they were made out of just a piece of log and hollowed out. So it would have been the end grain. Yeah. yeah. And probably sealed by fire as well. Right. Yes. Yeah. Well, they're probably hollowed by fire as well, to be honest. Probably, yeah. Billy Woodbrooks has joined us. Hiya. Hello, Chris. Hi, Ben. Hi, mate. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. How are you? Let's get up a grip. Or three. <laughs> Trevor P. Hobby says... <laughs> I'll be sure to say, not, not going to have a lot of content then, Lewis. <laughs> it was oh. done by, influenced by Brian. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I had one influenced by Brian on a live I did. It was 10 minutes of the Pro Edge. That was Brian's influence. <laughs> but he wasn't even spinning. Gerard wish, uh, <clears throat> says he doesn't, he, doesn't, he didn't know that Brian was at the origin of the Liberty Convoy. In Canada. Mm. 
Hmm. Thank you, Jared. Well, Last um, in response to the um, protests in Canada and France, my workshop has now dropped all COVID restrictions. <laughs> yeah, and mine, under your direction, Pete. I did the same. Yeah. So I don't oh, need to wear a mask in here anymore. No. I don't no, need no. to check where I'm vaccinated before I can come through the door. No. Of course, nobody else is allowed in here, but you know, that's the same point. <laughs> well, I, I put a sign up so the mice don't wear masks now. Uh, that's all right then. Yeah. I put a sign up at the beginning of it and said no virus allowed. <laughs> uh, uh, the Northern Ireland Health Minister is about to announce that all restrictions are lifted in Northern Ireland. Hmm. Probably yeah, by it's, next it's, probably by next Thursday. It's the way it's all gonna go, I think. Yep. COVID's oh, just so. gonna disappear overnight. Yeah, well it's not, on, but it, the, the in the media it will. Yeah. It'll gradually fade away. Yeah. And I think we're starting will... to get more worried about a war with Russia. Exactly. Yeah. And people will get the flu like they've always had. They'll like, get bad doses of the flu, and it could well be COVID, but nobody will mm -hmm. care because it'll be just what everybody has every year. Yeah, once it's here, it's never going away. No. It's a bit like Brian, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, listen to what has been around on the YouTube scene for years. To be honest, COVID could have been around. Five months. COVID could have been around for years. It's only just been illuminated by the media. Exactly. Like that. It took its time before it started killing people. That's the trouble. Yeah, but flu kills people every year, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. Well, it is a variant of flu, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Who the cars? There's no vaccine for them, is there? No. Anyway, let's not get too maudlin. No. Nah. Yeah. Let, let's, Roy is right, though. Roy is correct. Roy says Brian's mice don't wear masks. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, not even no, they don't. on fire. No, they don't. That's Maurice. Maurice. Maurice is a mouse. The mouse of many colours. <laughs> I had to go back to 80 grit there because I had a little bit there that I didn't like. Did you say this was ash, Pete, uh, Brian? I, don't, I'm, I'm, I, I thought it was ash, but I don't think it is now. No, I don't it's think it is like either. It. No, it's, very, it's quite tight grain for ash. Yeah. Beach, sycamore, something like that, maybe. Yeah, it's got a, got a bit of pip, pippiness there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it could be a bit of beach, can it? Yeah. I think it is beach, to be honest. Judging by the bark inclusion, I think it's beach. <laughs> oh, you're good, mate. No, I, I can tell you. <clears throat> yeah, that's better now. That's it. It's gone now. Give that a quick whiz up, mate. Remember, Brian, not too thin a bowl. No, it needs to be substantial. Yeah. Yeah. But the quarters of an inch. -ish. With the, don't forget the rolled edge. Maybe a little bit. Oh, of course, I'll have a rolled edge. Oh, Mike, I can't believe you even thought that. Huh. No, I'm sorry. Yes, it's wrong on me. <laughs> rolled edge. Is everything for the next month going to have a rolled edge? It will be Brian next year. <laughs> yeah, including the flowers he's going to turn next week. He's got this for rolled edge flowers next. Oh, flower on Wednesday. Not on the flower on Wednesday, guys. Wednesday or Thursday? Wednesday. What are you doing Thursday? I have, a, I have a primary on Wednesday. There's a flower on it. But is it a rolled edge flower? Uh, no. It's a rolled <laughs> bottom flower. The sharp <laughs> edges. Look like sanding marks, or is that just part of the green? <clears throat> most, probably, most probably sanding marks. So Jaffy's trying it? to guess who the earworms are tonight. Oh, is he? Hey, come myself. on, Jaffy. I'm seeing you for Pete, ages. Uh, Terry, Steve... And Mike. Roy the boy says, I can't see why Newark was cancelled when all the restrictions will be finished. <clears throat> yeah, it looks a bit odd that. But I'm it guessing is. it is organisation problems. I would think so. <coughs> it could be. I've just got another grip. <clears throat> Oh, 
Steve, question for you there from Gerard. He says, is there, he missed your Sunday live. He was working. Is there a new challenge? No, Gerard, the new challenge will be announced in the first week of March. It was uh, February's one that we finished uh, Sunday, which was the hashtag Nibber week. Which reminds me, somebody was on today at lunchtime that you had missed out somebody's. Uh-huh. Whether you got whether you got the Lawrence. picture or not. Who? Lawrence. Lawrence. Yeah. Did you get a picture from Lawrence? Was it on email? He uh, didn't uh, specify. He just said that you missed his picture out of the video. Oh, is he in uh, this evening? No. I will check. See if I had his email. There's a set of have a word and see if uh, if he if you have got it. He might be able to add it in. I don't know if he can or not. There's a bit of history there from Grandma Roof Tube. It says, large wooden mortars and pestles led to the invention of butter churns as the domestication of livestock and you, use of you've dairy. Been, you've been reading Wikipedia. Well done, Ruth. Wait till well, I get I read, in there. I read it earlier. <clears throat> so that's fine now. Now, because this is just going to be a decorative piece and the outside doesn't matter, I'm going to sand and seal that. And uh, well, maybe it says Newark is only 10 miles from him, so um, it's probably his fault. We've been cancelled then. Who's that? Tourette's. Oh, oh, Tourette's. Oh, <clears throat> Definitely can't use this, it's got kind of spalting in it. We should think well, that's what the little marks are, Leo. Or I make word work says, Is that a flexi pad there, Brian? And then he's corrected it. He said, I mean, a soft pad. You were you were sanding with? Yeah, it's a foam pad. Actually, that one is from uh, Simon Hope. Just put that dry for a second or two. And because it's, it's got a flat, week. it's not next week, Lewis. It's the first Sunday. Of every month. Yep. Stephen announced a new hashtag. Challenge. But not challenge. Correct. Things to make. It was this lot new that I had to cut a load of dippers for the shop on the Friday before they announced the challenge. And they never said a word. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know, Pete. There's a deep meaning in that. I'm <laughs> I, I was here oh. for Brian on the Thursday. And the topic came up. I had to cut 40 of them on the Friday. <laughs> it's not like it's a secret, but we just want people. We don't want people to be practicing beforehand. Right, I apologise. Lauren sent it to me on Messenger. Ah, <gasps> and I got blue light workshops in. Hi, Scott. Hi, oh, Scott. Yeah. So we'll just turn the Scott. speed down to around somewhere under five hundred. That's 360, but that'll be fine. You could put I'm your always, maker's mark on the flat, Brian. I'm always quiet, Roy. On the flat, this bit? Yeah. No. No, that, that's coming up. On the flat. Oh, on good. the flat on the side. Yeah, I could yeah, do that, yeah. too. That'll, yeah, that'll be good. interesting. That'll be different. Brian Stapley said, could the wood be holly? Yes. Could be anything on Brian. This piece of wood? No, that's not holly. Yeah. No. I've got one piece of holly. And it's on the bench there behind me. Just check. If it was Holly, it would be uh, perfect for the job you're doing. <laughs> this is Holly. Yeah. Holly is really hard, so that would be perfect. Mind you, I haven't looked at that and looked at the, the grain on that or the bark that was on that. It's not Holly. No, oh, well. Camera. Oh, sorry. Overhead. Uh, Tourette's Turner. What was that? Where did I just see that? Steve, do you have a website to order? Uh, order Chuck Buddies? Is that what you're on about? Tourette's? If so, yes. I do. Um, made me. I'll put the link in. That's all right, Brian? Yeah, yeah. Yes, work away, Steve. Absolutely, yeah. <clears throat> J 
John Scarborough's a bit late, but he's just joined us. Good evening to you. Just Hi, John. You also regret to do his work here. Ah, the deepity can be soft as your whatever it is. Uh, like we're my brown Yorkshire gritty Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> Threats. Um, there's Don't the link. Here, job, mate. There's the link from a baby <laughs> store. If you want, if you want to, you I will take orders through Messenger. So it depends on you want to. Do. Roy's asking a question. Payment through PayPal, that raised you? Yes, payment through PayPal. Um, Roy, my dad I came out of hospital today. Thank you very much for asking. I went and picked him up just before Brian's life. That's why I was late. Had to wait for Steve. Don't blame me. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Tourette wishes Joe could come back and sing. I thought we did a very good job there. Oh, yeah. did you? Oh, okay. <laughs> you didn't do a good job there. Yeah, no, glad, sorry. Glad, glad you think. Totally <laughs> As Lewis wrong. says, none of you can ever criticize <laughs> Joe singing again after that. <laughs> totally agree, Lewis. It's, uh, it's actually a shame. I'm quite well, that's... I don't know why I'm surprised. You're taking your time on it, that's why. Oh, is that one? <laughs> okay. Yeah, not rushing, not rushing it. Yeah, I'm not rushing at all. Stop rushing. Mm. Right. You, you did, Mark. You missed the singing. A little bit of Hampshire sheen. Higher gloss wax. <laughs> not the nicest look piece of wood in the world, but yeah. Susie said, I thought your singing sounded great. Did you have the sound you, turned Susie. down, Susie? Thank you, yeah. Susie. Susie was obviously Wild listening Kings to something is... else. Alex, Alex. Wild just joined. Good evening, Alex. Alex. See, Susie likes our singing. Just rub that in until it starts to get tacky on your cloth. Have a clean piece of cloth to buff it up with. Make a little pad, as Steve always says. Well, we're not quite sure what this wood is now. I'm trying it's to work it out. at the start, but we're not quite sure what it is. Well, maybe get a better look when I turn the inside. That may help us. Yeah. Or well, it'll be written inside like a stick of rock. Yeah. <laughs> you got to go down two inches and you see it. Ha ha! This is so and so. Maybe written on this end under the screws. I don't know. Sounds like oh, Mike's rockets firing up. <laughs> For wood that is dully and as boring Mike, as Mike, 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 and we can hear your your uh, rocket going off when you fire it up really loud. Oh dear! Right, hang on then. I'll. I'll, 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 I'll right. I, I, I can't have you freezing to death. What was your time in that piece of wood? Ooh, look at that! Ooh. Very pretty. Ooh. that's you actually quite nice. I wouldn't be surprised if that is chestnut. Yeah, could well be. Oh, wrong way again. Let's unlock that. Turn that round. Got Keep your fingers time. crossed. Keep your fingers crossed. The, the ten is the right size. Before I tighten up too much, I'll put that back in the middle. I hope it's in the right place. I think it is. I mean, tonight is not about me, but is the mic all right that's, now? That's better. Yeah, it's fine, man. Not bad. I don't know. You're making such a fuss. <laughs> if it's not about you. Oh, for God's sake! Shut up, Oosby. Steve from Wood. <laughs> Wood <Woody, laughs> just joined us. Steve and Stephen. Hi, Hi Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Welcome along to the madhouse. Mike Waltz being his usual self. You got Kevin going to snap that key off in a minute. How tight you doing? <laughs> take that away. And this I'm was take uh, a little discussion we had yesterday that um, over tightening the chuck, particularly on a mortise or overextending on a mortise, puts a lot of pressure on the wood, and sometimes that can be negative. It's getting it right. Yeah. Hmm. 
I just like, tightened up my field there. It's even like uh, doing up a, a, a wheel nut. Too tight is worse than leaving it loose. Because it yeah. will vibrate loose. Yeah, it's a, it's a knack. I'll put I'll put this up here on my uh, ring chuck buddy or ring buddy holder. Faceplate buddy. Faceplate buddy. Oh, sorry. Take, uh, it's even written on it. Faceplate <laughs> buddy. So it is. Jeez. How did RPM I not see that? Works. RPM's in. RPM Faceplate buddy. Even in RPM. Right, I'll leave that small tool rest on there. Who said that spacing on the mortise looks perfect? Yeah, it would be if it was a mortise, but it was a tenon. <laughs> <laughs> well, he got a 50 50 chance, didn't he? He, did. he got it wrong. Leave <laughs> Lewis alone. He's a good Canadian boy. Hey, he doesn't do live, so we can't pick on him the same as we can. <laughs> well, that's true. Uh, yeah. he, only does, he only does videos on. You can only do it when he's in the chat. He loves it. He loves it, Tourette's. He loves being abused. Michelle told us. Right, let's try and spin that up. A little bit more speed. About that much. Let's just flatten the face off first. Ah, Robert said, you've got to realise at Brian's old age, it would look like he's struggling to tighten this chuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got his foot on it, cranking it round. <laughs> <laughs> Did Rob say that? Yes, Where Rob. is he? Robert. Oh, Bodge. Oh, Robert Bodge. from Hodge Bodge. Yeah. yeah. But Rob was in there for a minute. That's your cheek, Robert. And it loses. It'd still be City o'clock in the morning over there, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I. Things improve when the clocks change. I'll go to that camera, would that be better for you? Right. Is there enough light on the subject, guys? Is that too bright? No, that's, that's fine. There's too much, actually. We can see what you're doing. <laughs> I've just reduced the height a little bit. Don't reduce it too much. You reduce it quite a lot from the other end. No, that's as far as I'm going. I just wanted to make a nice, crisp, clean edge here. Got so you yourself. can roll it over. So as I, I can leave it nice and crisp just to please Mr. Walk, just for a change. <laughs> well, you'll have to roll it a bit. If you want to cut yourself, it'd be Boys, sharp. the boy said he just um, polished a horse chestnut bowl and it looks about the same. I agree, it does look that way. Horse chestnut can be lovely, but it can also tear out terribly as you're cutting it. Depends on where it was yeah. in the tree. Right, a question from Jaffe for Mike. Now I hear people are having discussion about mortise and tenons. So when do you decide when to, when to use which? It can get confusing what everyone says. I'll leave that to uh, Pete Jaffe because Pete is the technical expert. I've got my own views. <clears throat> but as you know, I go on a lot. So I let Pete do it. He does go on, <laughs> on, goes on and on and He's on. sloping his shoulder, Jaffe. Um, if I'm turning even slightly green wood, I will always favour a tenon. And if I'm turning wood for a nice smooth base on it, I will favour a tenon because it's easier to get get that off than it is a mortise, in my view. But it does depend very much. On, it's just um. How does the wood feel when you're cutting it? And both of them will work 90% of the time. Right, I'm As Robert says, didn't you, you'd never use a mortise on a spindle work, not on hand grain. No. But um, I think on bowl work, Gilliver, then... Fred Gilliver prefers a mortar. It was a, a tenon that... A, a broken tenon almost took two of his fingers off last July. Yeah, but there'll be another person out there that says it was a broken mortise, you know, yeah. it's, um... It's the luck of the draw. 
An advantage with a mortise with a dovetail is if it isn't 100% tight on the chuck, if it's 90% tight, then the dovetail will keep it on the chuck. It'll just start to wobble a bit, and then you get a chance to recenter and tighten up a bit more. Whereas if a tenon is loose in the chuck, it does tend to give away a bit quicker. And the other and thing, of course, over tightened can crack, but the mortise can crack out as well. So. Yeah. But the, the other thing as well, it's got a platter. Um, it's sometimes a nice design feature. You use the mortise, you put a nice rim on the outside of the mortise, and then take the shape of your bowl from the edge of that rim, and you've got a you've got a nice feature. Just raise it very slightly. Yeah. <clears throat> and you can decorate the inside or whatever. Um, Lewis, Lewis is asking Pete, what does he think about mortise tenon in resin? Um. As you know, Lewis, I'm an absolute expert on resin. <laughs> <laughs> resin never comes question? into my workshop. Was that Lewis that asked that question? Yeah. 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 I can't believe he did he put ha-ha that. on the end of it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he does no it's, different. It's a bit like asking me about colour, isn't it, Lewis, really? I actually do like... Especially what Lewis does with resin. I do like oh, the effect brilliant. that people get. Yeah. Mm. I really don't like the clearing up, and I'm not interested in turning it. <laughs> That's exactly every, right. Every time I see Steve, Steve turn resin, I'm sitting in the next minute, he's covered just, like, just everywhere. Like a spider's web, 20, 10 times as bad. What bevel have you got on your uh, bowl gouge, uh, Brian? On, the, on this one, this is 45 yeah. degrees, mate. 45? Yep. Good grief. All my tools are set at 45 degrees, except for one. Well, apart from the skew, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, will you will you use the I, one uh, now I, or not? Yeah, well, I can get down down a little bit further, I think. No, what I mean is you will use it on this on this piece. Yes, I will. Yes, I right, will. Okay, thank you. Just for the turn of the less experience. Yep. Are you going to use a 60 degree to cool across the bottom, or will that work? That one. That's what I'm going to do. Wesley Hannah's joined us all the way from Colorado, USA. Good evening. Hello, Wesley. Good evening, Wesley. How are you doing? Who is that? Wesley, Wesley Hannah. From Colorado. Wes. Hello, Wesley. Where are we in Colorado, are you? We're in Colorado, Wesley. Brian's been to Colorado. Don't encourage him, Lewis. God's sake. Lewis is asking, about... when will the road edge appear? In a minute. Give him a chance, Lewis. He'll probably cut himself, first of all, on the spinning outside edge because he didn't take the edge off. Then he'll put a rule in on it. The spinning outside edge is not that sharp. He likes it's that nice. crisp corner. That's what he likes. Yeah. Mm. He does. He, he likes What's nice, he nice the bottom sharp, is that? crisp corner. Pure shut. Should... Yeah, about an inch and a half. So you want to leave a substantial base on these because it needs to be heavier at the bottom than it does at the top, obviously. So the reason Mike I'll, was asking... I think these be quite heavy, isn't it? It's about the... Yeah. It's because he wanted to mention this, a bottom, well, what is commonly called a bottom feeder. This is sharpened to 60 degrees. And I've never used it. All right. So I'd <clears> like to works. try it. Tommy's workshop says uh, if you watch Reed Gary, or Gary Reed, I don't know which way it goes around, he uses a mortise on green bowls, Pete. Yeah. Um, yep. As I said, 90% of the time either will work. It is very much a Special decision choice, you make as, on the piece of wood, sometimes on what the finished product's got to look like, sometimes on how the wood feels. Um, and sometimes it just to... depends on what mood I'm in. I have to say, no, in generally, general terms, I agree with Pete that on wet wood, I will use a tenon because with wet wood, the compression will compress the fibres. You have to keep on hinging up the chuck yeah. to keep your hold. Um, and the same would work with the mortise, obviously. Um, <clears throat> Mark Harvey's wondering what the wood smells like while you're cutting it. Is it a sweet smell, Brian? Uh, I can't... We'll stop it first. You yeah, it's a bit. It's a bit. I'm just smelling the shavings. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> Got his nose rubbing on the chip. No. <laughs> bang, 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 bang on the chip. 
You're not that stupid. What was that plaster for? That you what? What did you catch your knuckle on? <laughs> no, you burnt really. your, no, Thomas you burnt really yourself. Hi, <clears throat> right, Thomas. Thomas. I have to say to Californians in the night mm. that using this sixty degree bevel it's good, isn't for it? the bottom is good. To go across the bottom is, is actually quite good. Yeah. So you get to the Especially bottom there, want a fairly tight corner in there, and then the just kind of slide it across. Hmm. Yeah. I, I just think with a bowl that deep, and I might be wrong, that you, you're going to st start losing your bevel a bit on a 45 yeah. degree at that, that depth. That's, that's the abs absolutely the right idea. Because no, this good. is deep and, and steep-sided, hmm. when you get down there, there's, there's the bevel there. As soon as you get down to about there, and then bring it across, you're actually you're bumping here. And yep. knocking the bevel off at the bottom. Yep. Whereas Here's with a, a six, 60 you, degree, Brian. it'll just go straight to the bottom, see? Lewis yes. has got a question. He said, what does it taste like? I have no idea. <laughs> it like does it taste like a horse chestnut? I, I might look like, I might be a bit cabbage looking, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> oh, you don't want too tight a corner there on the bottom, Brian, because... Uh, it's not a tight corner at all. It's just sweep around so uh, you're... Yep, that's exactly what I'm doing, Terry. Right. It's got a nice... I'll try and show you now. It's actually start... The, the, the bottom starts about here, so it's kind of straight, and then it curves right around to the bottom. So there's a, a yeah. fairly substantial curve in the bottom there. And... Want some weight in the bottom as well, Mike. A sweeping transition line, is that the one? A sweeping transition line, I like that. So that's about an inch and a bit. Probably, Probably with 30 mil. We could go a little bit further. <clears throat> nice bit of weight in the bottom, keep it there, so don't need it too light. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to take a little bit more. In fact, what I might do is just, uh, actually, not too bad. I was thinking of going with a scraper there just to. No. Oh, but I don't think so. I think it's cut nicely enough. I'll just leave it. I'll take one more cut with this. Uh, oh. One more, I shouldn't say that. The, the famous one more cut. With one this, more uh, cut. That's all it took, just one more cut. Bang. <laughs> just ride it down the side, ride the bevel, float the bevel even, <clears throat> pick up a cut in there, bring the handle back towards me, and then slide the whole tool across the way. Towards the middle. Oh, and then finish in the middle. Do that one more thing. Grind does really work for that sort of. Work. Yeah. Yeah. Tight curve. Just let it do its work. Just gliding the bevel across there. Not too big a cut, Brian. And down to the middle. Perfect. Ben Jamin said, sing into the bowl, one. Brian. If it's horse chestnut, it'll echo back. If it's any other species, it will call you gullible. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll give that a quick sand. We'll Jeffrey sand says he can tell you how wet camphor shaving is taste. <laughs> yeah. I can quite frequently tell you what most of my shavings taste like yeah, when exactly. I discover them at the bottom of my coffee cup. I was going to say you should be using a face shield, Pete, but well, yeah, but they get into the coffee cup and you just drink it, don't you? Oh, that's too slow. Mm. I might strike it just in a, just a fraction. It's catching it okay, but... <coughs> Whoops. Todd's Should asking, is there any preferred species to make a mortar and pestle? Yes. Maple, maple apparently, wood. is good. Olive wood is the best. Yeah, olive wood, holly's nice as well. Really hard. We have a problem in this country that we don't get the fancy timbers that they get in America. 
when I looked up mortar and pestles, that's where it took me, mostly to America. Well, if you're making for your mother in law, it's always you, isn't it? <laughs> of course. With a free bottle of water. Yeah, red wine, red wine. Give them some red wine to mix with it, apparently. That's a, a good combination. Yep. Uh, that's okay. You still there, Mike? Yeah, well, I'm still there. Yeah, he is. I see. He's just not, not in the picture. He's probably eating again. You know, well, he fell right. off your perch or something. Question <laughs> Is the rim and wall thickness a personal choice? That's from Webbook Resident cre Wood Creation. I've made the wall quite thick there. I think it's probably, I don't know what it is. You want some weight in it, though, don't you? You want some weight in it, though, don't you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that wall thickness is actually 15 mil, guys. So just under three quarters of an inch. <clears throat> is a proportionate heavy heavy set bowl is what you're looking at? Looks like it. Mm. So it will depend on the size of the bowl, how thick the wall is, but you want it quite heavy. Nice and chunky. Gerard, the French Turner, wants to know if you're sponsored by Ryobi. What you seem to use as a brand on YouTube gem demos. Sponsored by whom? Brian's got everything from Ryobi. Basically, basically, most of my power tools are Ryobi power tools. As and no, I'm not sponsored. Oh, but he can be. He'd like to be. Yeah, he'd love to be. <laughs> yeah, if Ryobi are um, watching, I yeah. very much yeah. appreciate that. If Royal, anybody from Robbie's listening, yeah, I'd be quite happy to product test all your all your tools. Project Man's project. just joined. Hello, Good project, evening, man. project Man. Good evening. I have a Royal B lawnmower, Royal B strimmer, everything basically. So just take that edge off there. Michelle's just roll this names. edge over a little bit. Michelle's middle name's Royal B. Royal B trainers. Royal B trainers. <laughs> you're, you're a gag, Steve. You're a gag. I'm just wondering if we can see that crack in there. I actually can't see that crack in there. So He bought a new oh, car. It's a, it's a Mitsubishi Ryobi. Mitsubishi <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, Ryobi. Ryobi wallet. Mm. Right, because this is just ornamental, guys, I'm going to seal the inside as well. <laughs> Paul Cavanaugh what? said, I've got a few Ryobi batteries, Brian. If you did uh -huh. the workshop unlocked, I could do with a few more tools. <laughs> All right, okay, mate. Paul, don't see me there, Paul. Paul, I introduce you to my I used to have uh, Ryobi years ago when they were blue and yellow. Yep. That's it, yeah. Be... I've got a I've had a huge well, marketing, really. marketing push in the last sort of five years or so. Yeah, since they brought out that one-touch system. Yeah, the one system, and that was a guy who came from DeWalt, who is the sort of product developer, manager or something from uh, DeWalt, moved over to Ryobi, and it's went from strength to strength. Well, I like boss tools. So That's there. fine. Yeah, I think everybody's got their favourite. Yep. Poor Kevin, I reckon you got a Ryobi sledgehammer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, well, not because you can get them. Yeah. They, they, they do a whole lot of stuff. Probably a whole lot of stuff they shouldn't be there. So they do finishes as well. That's uh, not Royal B finish, is it? No. No, she also got it again. Joe, Joe Coupier just uh, says, I realise this is alive. <laughs> yes. is it? Welcome to <laughs> What do you mean he's just <laughs> realised it's alive? <laughs> Welcome Hold to the madhouse. We're Joe obviously not side. spontaneous enough here. Confu I'm confused by those two, he says. Which two are you confused by? <laughs> it's four of us here. There's six of us in here today. No, it's five of us. Sorry. Oh, dear. The thing is, it's like any well, anything you buy, you always buy the best tool you can afford. That's it. Yeah. And if you haven't got a... If, you, if, you, if you're a DIYer, you don't need to spend a fortune on drills. No. Nope. Everything else. The only I will say DIY and professional tools is the expected lifetime hours. Yeah, exactly. And you know, for DIY stuff, I mean, my um, battery drills, I've got Milwaukee ones. Um, I don't use them that often, so they'll last me a long time. 
Yep. Yeah. If I was using them out on a building site, they probably wouldn't last very long at all. I have a little Ryobi we'll... uh, battery chainsaw. That's a great little thing. Milwaukee That's years lovely. Milwaukee years ago were one of the most expensive tools on the market. Now, mm. uh, Milwaukee do a complete package of a <laughs> drilling driver cheaper than Makita do. Mm. Yep. So, up and coming tool. Paul Cameron says proof of life is needed. Need Hold up today's newspaper and we'll pay the ransom for Mike. <laughs> <laughs> then Mike, I think that's that's really would be released. Oh, there has to be one nutcase in the chat. Thank you. Anytime, Mike. I'll take that as a compliment. I think, though, with power tools, battery power tools, it's the same as, um, you know, chucks or whatever, chuck jaws. Once you start, because the batteries are normally interchangeable, okay, yeah, then, uh, you know, if you just add to the collection, you start with, really, don't you? Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I, I had the cheat uh, in the very beginning, oh, 20 years ago, I used to buy the you know, the Bosch green, you know, the sort of do it yourself stuff. And then about 10 years ago, I invested in the professional um, impact driver and a drill. And I use them quite a lot. And they're, they're still going because I don't use them as much as a professional would do. So they'll last me 20, 30 years, I would think. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. Trevor's going to go. Brian, Trevor's going to go. He says uh, he's got an early start tomorrow. He'll try and see you if he can. He'll give you a call first if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine, Trevor. Anytime. I'll be here every day. Yeah, give him a call, Trevor, so we can make sure he's out when you call. <laughs> Terrible, mate. That was really nice, that does, Brian. I keep saying this on every one of his lives. I know, I. Right? Yeah, you're lying. It sounds almost start, as genuine as Mark's hello, doesn't it? It's not the thing you're telling me lies now, you Brit. Actually, one of the best um, screwdrivers I got, well, drill screwdriver, drill that I use as a screwdriver, is a Bosch. Early lithium one. Mm. That's got to be about 15 years old now, and it's still going. Oh, that's too much. Well, she used to be good in the day. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, when I bought it, it was only a cheap well, one because yeah. I need, I needed a second one for a job so I could just keep working. Mm. Bought a cheap one, and it's brilliant. The Makita it was bought uh, to go with has long since died. I will be honest, I'm a Makita man. Yeah. <clears throat> I got a Makita jigsaw, which I bought, I don't know, it must be 15 years ago, and it's still going now. And that is like, used I can't afford to change now. Can't afford to change now because it's got 24 batteries and <laughs> yeah. too, expensive, too expensive to change. You're kind of stuck sort. now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, but it's your trade, isn't it, Steve? There's a difference. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is. You know, it is. I mean, it's. I mean, uh, everything is battery now. Everything I use is battery. Yeah. It's very rare I get an electric tool out of the van to use. It's all no, battery operated. No. Unless you've got a long extension lead. <laughs> well, well no, I mean, it's... I only... I oh, used... Yeah. Everything Everything used to be 240. When I first started in the game, everything was 240. Yeah. Um, then it went to 110. Yeah. All I carry in the van now on electric tools is a, a, a slide and chop saw, um, a circular saw, 190 mil circular saw, and a 4 mil planer. That's all I carry on the van, which is everything else is battery. Mm. Mm. Well, the boy said, you keep getting emails from so-called companies wanting to do a, a video about their products. From video editing to clothing, offering yep. uh, 1,500 quid yeah. video. He thinks yeah. it's spam. I'm pretty sure it is spam, but um, you know, tell them it's cash up front and you'll see, it, see about doing it. Mm. I keep yeah, getting one from a carbon neutral clothing company asked me to do promotions for them. Hey, fine, as long as you pay me first. Yeah. Yeah, I just got a, a, an email from a microphone manufacturer who wanted me to test a microphone for them. Yeah, because you need one. Because I need one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need a translator yeah, microphone. If they pay up front, I'll send you the goods up front, whichever the there deal is, then uh, right. fair enough. But if it's you know, spam, they're not going to do that. No. I've had plenty of ask me to do reviews, but I've got to buy the buy it first, and then I'll refund me when the reviews done. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm gonna leave taking that ten off for now, and we'll do the pistol. 
<laughs> See, we <laughs> always say practice sense. makes perfect. Now, Brian couldn't say pastel this afternoon in your life, in the life of Terry, no, but no, he's got it now. Got it now. Yeah. Very practice good. all afternoon. That's all. Sorry, yeah. I was weighing you up this afternoon. Yeah, of course you were. Pistol. I've had an electrocution lessons since then. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wrong chuck, wrong chuck key. I've lost a chuck. Sweet, call a magician with a lisp in it. Hey, pesto. Oh, of course, hey, you pesto. use those chucks. <laughs> 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 those chucks, Brian. You got to keep changing the chuck keys. I mean, you can never know which one you needed. Yeah, yeah. I know, it's terrible. I keep telling you, I can't afford that. An axe master chuck. They're too expensive. But you can. But that's what I'm saying. Him want to do a review. Yeah. I might have to think about it. <laughs> Wait, let's all say pestle together because that's yeah. annoying Gerard. He says it's okay. pestle. Pestle. One, well, two, okay, one, pestle. two, three. Pestle. 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 Hey, uh, see, this, this is a pestle. Hey, pesto. Hey, pestle. <laughs> pesto. Hey, pestle. Gerard is just pulling out his hair. Unless he hasn't it's got any. That. That's close enough. You tell Brian's a carpenter, look. Yeah, so he's, he's finding the fender now with his pencil. <laughs> <laughs> if I were a carpenter. Pencil. Or is it pencil? Oh, wrong way. Like pencil. Yeah. Give pencil. 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 It's a pencil. It's a pencil. Pencil for the fender. <laughs> stop, stop taking the piss out of my pencil. And, he, and he, he's got his, his revolving stem fender. <laughs> <laughs> This is you, Brian. You've been running for an hour and 12. you got 77 watching, but only 47 of them like it. And that's what a thumbs up. Ah, that's a bit right. That's a bit Sorry. Rate. That's our fault. We'll behave ourselves. What people no, are going to say no, is... No, no, no. rest are on yeah. the way out now because you've taken an hour and you've not got halfway through yet. You'll be going, no, going on. You'll be going for an hour and 10 minutes, which is just about my introduction time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mike will just be finished saying hello by now. Yeah. <laughs> That's not very funny. Uh, I'm not like this. I'm going to stop true. talking like this. It's Todd and Greg Co. Woodworks has said, how do you hear women's pronounce Trestle? <laughs> <laughs> like Trestle. Well, <laughs> it's a Trestle. It's a Trestle table. It's a Trestle in mortar. <laughs> a Trestle, it's be table. trestle table. Trestle in mortar. Mm. Lionel. Lionel. Hello, Lionel. Hello, Lionel. Hi, Lionel. Yeah, actually, there's a sensible point there from uh, MG Woodwork. Please mind the non-native English speakers. Yeah. Yes. Behave yourself, Mike. Yep, <clears throat> behave yourself, Mike. No. Yes, Roger, the earworms are on all design. Yeah, Roger, I've opened another beer. I'm too old to change. Sorry. I take on board what you say, but I'll take no notice of it. <laughs> ben said, let's all pronounce French words wrong. I'll start. Okay. I'm not going to say what he said because I don't know how he's pronounced it, but <clears throat> croissant. Croissant, but he's croissant. 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 Must pronounce a croissant. And the H return is in and out. So well, this, this is a bit like making no, a never. Right. Same sort of idea. Let me just put a check for a tenant or a mortise, sorry. No, a tenant. Oh, the mortise and see if that works. Oh, look at that. That'll fit my chuck. That's accidentally That's perfect, mean. Brian. Well, accidentally perfect. No, it's just experience. We'll just make, we'll just make a little shoulder in there. Lionel said, no, it's crescent. I think that's what he said. It's crescent. I have a crescent. A crescent. Hope, hope I haven't made that too small now. Roy's the voice said, I think I missed what is the wood you're using now. That's oak, isn't it? This is oak, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to say, a pretty poor choice for uh, a pestle. No, it's only about hard, so. But, yeah. What you got? What you got? Yeah, I want to 
to make it thinner at the bottom. I think Ben is now saying Croizen. Not too thin. I might well, need this. I might just uh, He does want to waste that bit of wood on the end, see, Terry, because it'll come in useful one day. Well, I keep this bit in the end. Oh, yeah, good God, I. I have a plan for that. I'm sure you do. I have a plan that might involve Mike. Like, just make it a flower, Mike. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. A rose stunt flower. A stunted flower, yeah. Has Andy just come in? Just Andy, the, uh, yep. Hi, Andy. Hi, Andy. Hi, Andy. Andy, Keith's files on my other computer. Tell me who's on tomorrow lunchtime, please. Are you had much interest in the websites, Pete? Yeah, I've um, had Tuesday. Day. Oh, good. Uh, I've got one set up. I'm going to do the other one after this. I remember what Mike told me last night. Keep the bevel in contact, don't you, sir? Yeah. If not, you'll get a catch. But we'll find that out soon enough. <laughs> Confidence is all here. That's probably chunky enough. Thanks, Andy. So we've got Keith tomorrow lunchtime and Andy in the evening. Oh, what about you? Robbo Robertson in. Hey, Hi, Robbo. Hi, Robbo. Hello, buddy. Hi, Robbo. Hey, buddy. We stay up between centres like a real turner. No Chuck yeah. Neases. That's it, Rob. Okay, then. Let's do that. Change camera, Michelle said. What for? I don't oh. know. But she said change camera. Well, we're told we can see the catch better then. Is that what you want? Thank you, Michelle. Good job you're here. Yeah. Change hands as well, eh? So can I just say that I'm only 17 away from 3,000 subs. Oh, brilliant. Oh, put your link in then. Get your link in. A couple of you people here. If you're not already subscribed to Steve, please do so at SK Crafts. Thanks for the support, Mike. What are you saying there, mate? What did Mike say then? It was all between nice. The, between that yeah. and the jet engine, I didn't hear it. Okay, I'll turn it off and freeze. There we go. <laughs> That's right, Mike. <laughs> oh, Mike. Leave your heater on, Mike. It's fine. No, no I'm turning. freezing. We have, to look, we have to look after the agent. I'm, I'm doing a mark. I'm turning while I'm here with me. <laughs> there you are, people. SK Crafts, that YouTube link. If you're not sub uh, subscribed to him, he just needs 12 to get subscribed. 13. 000. No, 13. 17. 17. 17. 17. So I have to say, like, guys, that I've got... You're like uh, spreading the love, go and subscribe to him. Let me just... Uh, Thank you, Jappy. And don't forget, I'm going to do a 3,000 giveaway as well. Oh, wow. Don't have that too uh, pointy at the top there, Brian, when you push down me around. It's... What are you Thank saying, Danny? Don't make that too what? Make a nice and round there, so when you've got it in the palm of your hand and you're pressing down with the palm on your fingers, it doesn't hurt you. Too sharp an edges anywhere would hurt. You're cr crushing all the time. You get my drift. Dave Oti says, Terry, do you think Brian would find it easier with a coal and waste skew? I think he might, actually. Haven't you got one, <coughs> Brian? No, I haven't got one. Oh, well, okay. Actually, will. And most people are doing subs. I'm only um, 9,490 short of 10,000. <laughs> yeah. Is there anybody else in the chat that needs help with our subs? Because we're quite happy to help. Mike could do we'll with leave that more. the way it is. Let me just check that for the thickness of my hand. That feels okay. I'll just give not that a quick sun. Not too short, I, I is it? Just said, is that is long that enough for the motor height? I hope not, anyway. Let me see. Oh. See? Shane, nah, should be get right. that bit on the bottom. Should be okay. Should so, be okay. David from Webfoot says he is... Shut up. 
he is um closer to 80. Yeah, so if we get his channel in, you get the 300. They have for web foot designs. So that's David's. Where's the other one? Jennifer said she keep losing subs. So let's have a look at Jennifer's. What are you doing, Jennifer? Be nice she keeps people. losing them. So let's put Jennifer's in there. She's on 374 at the moment. Gerard's got to go. He's got an early start tomorrow. See you Hi, later. Gerard. Gerard. Nice to you, Thanks mate. for coming in, buddy. Yeah. Cheers, Gerard. All the best, mate. Another 371 days ago, Gerard. Before you go, Gerard, just confirm it is pesto, isn't it? <laughs> pesto. <laughs> it's a pesto. That was 180. This is only for decoration, remember, guys. Our PM book says he's at 31 subs at the moment, um, but he needs a camera to get some more. Hmm. Are you not putting the other now? I just need to take a little bit more off the end here so we can get in there a bit more with the sandpaper. So I'll use, a, I'll use a spindle gauge. So I don't even know how to pronounce that. E-M-G-I. E-M-G or whatever it is. M-G. M-G. M-G is on 989. That's uh, Leo he's called, isn't he? Well, is it? Stick his link in as well. So Leo is on 8. Nine eight nine. So that's still a bit more room. Yeah. Put his link in. It's uh, worth a mention that we put out a challenge at six p.m. GMT this evening for a um. Well, go and look at the challenge. <laughs> it's a Segment part segmented then. process. Oh, can almost can't just about can't see it. Pete. Yeah, it's on the it's on these it's on the uh, the channel. So after Brian's finished, pop over and have a look on the channel, and it's there. Uh, it's on spirits as well. Heather from Spirit Wood, Spirit Wind, Wooden yeah. Bowl. It's a joint challenge. I don't think uh, Heather's in tonight. No, oh, I haven't seen him. Somebody's asked if we got Wesley's uh, channel. Yeah, it's there. I've just put it in. I've oh, just done it right, right, okay. Hold on. And I'm about 120 away from 1,000. And I've just passed 531. I think mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what my channel's sitting at now. Which is nice. But it's been going up exponentially this last few days. It's great. Wesley needs one big, more for 300. That's a big word. You've got there, a channel, Brian. Brian. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> You've got a channel. Is any good? <laughs> this is for Andy H's. He's not happy with that. It's just broken. Ooh. All out and the greasy Peter has got two subs. Well done, not bad, no, not bad with no content. Wesley Hannah's got no content and they got 300 and something. He needs one more for 300. Oh, I'll put his channel in. We ain't no content on it, but I'll put his channel in. Leo's on right, 991 now. That's Wesley's. Which will better us? Just give that a little rub with the grain. Like I said yesterday, when I hit 3,000, I'm going to do a giveaway. <laughs> so, uh, and it's for something that nobody's got, which would be quite impressive. This is true. I'm going to do a giveaway when I get oh, no, to a thousand or something. It's an old Makita jigsaw. It's my <laughs> na it's my naked um, Makita <laughs> impact gun that broke last week. <laughs> well, I'm doing a giveaway at a thousand, and it's going to be a smoke. Ooh. Hey, fancy smoke. Why has he got to be over 300 now? I already have my sister well, primed well, and ready to make it. Means you cost me a witch, but no matter. Cost you a witch? Yep. <laughs> a witch. You had to make a witch. Yeah. Had to make, make a witch. witch. You had to make a witch. Oh, I thought you meant a proper cackling witch. No. 
There we go. Let me have a quick go with some Yorkshire grit on that too. Sanding sealer first would be good, wouldn't it? Four. Oh, all right. Then. Have what have going to do a giveaway at a thousand. What have you done with my sanding sealer, guys? Nice. Well, having just got the 500, I will do a giveaway on my next live. Which will be on September. September. Be about September, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, September. What year would that be, Pete? Didn't, didn't specify that, just a September. Uh, one, of you, one, one of you guys stole my sanding seal. Yeah, it's on the shelf, mate. Behind you. So it is. It's behind you. That's where I left it. Well, that's thirsty. Oh, Emig's going to do a, du a dual one. He says he's going to do a dual one. A homemade tool for the turners. And a project to be specified for all others. Look at that. Nice. That's what his giveaway is going to be when he gets to a thousand. Who's that? Nine. <clears throat> I think he's called Leo, isn't it? Emig. Uh, Leo. No, 992. Barry's wood crash has just broke 300 subs, 310. Thanks to all you guys' support and the encouragement. Ah, well, well done, deserved, Barry. Barry. Pleasure, Barry. Well done. Well done, Barry. It's all about share. Yeah, it's not all about was, individuals. Or in state, all I can say is, since I've been associated with this lot, with earworming and all the rest of it, my subs have gone down. I got Brian's... less now than I did when I started earworming. Brian People... Stately said, Brian, can you please show me the layout of your dust extractor? It seems both quiet and efficient. Or effective. Okay, who said that? Brian Stately. Stately. Okay, Brian. I'll do a little video on it for you. Mark Stratton's in. Hello, Mark. Hi, mate. How are you Hi, doing? Mark. How are you? I hope you're not working too hard tonight. Hi, Mark. How are you doing, buddy? <coughs> Sing. Ah, for uh, hands that are can be soft <laughs> as your <laughs> Sing light brown Yorkshire oh, pretty. Pretty. oh my <laughs> god We should have had Les Dawson playing the piano for that shouldn't we? Let me oh, just ring gonna... Joe up so I can have some more blood out of me ears. Let... <laughs> <laughs> I mean Les Dawson was a very accomplished pianist It's very difficult to play like he, yeah. he does and it's, it's very difficult for me to sing out a tune because of my <laughs> Because you're going to say because of your classical training now, aren't you? I am, yes. I remember Excuse Welsh. I remember we're not believing was, it, Mike. We're, daughter, we're not falling for that. I remember <laughs> our daughter was in a pantomime with Les Dawson. He was absolutely screaming. He was no, he, He's brilliant. He played, he played he the piano. Okay, just in case we had the wrong link earlier, this is Wesley's actual channel that he posts videos on. Oh, right. Okay. <clears throat> Amic says he's... Uh, uh, or he says he's he's got his got his thousand subs he's off now by <laughs> <laughs> well, um... I don't know what am I what am I currently Roger Mills was sub to you, uh, Mike but he's reassessing that after that <laughs> <laughs> what does it say on my channel many subs I've got Six. Barry Bart is confused. He thought the Welsh could sing. Well, let's have a look. 881. Oh. 119 to go to get a thousand there. Eh? Mm, it's close, mate. It's getting close. We can't really, um, we can't really call out your channel now because everybody's watching, they're probably subscribed as well. Yeah. I would think they are. Eh? Well, I hope they are. After not, please do. Yeah. And if you're not, why not? Well, I just need another 8,000 subscribers and I'll be happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 100,000 there, might, won't it? Yeah. I don't think I'll reach that before. I'll, I'll be too arthritic to lift a, lift a gouge for the time I get there, I think. Uh, I bet you still be able to talk, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you could do a blogging channel rather than a turning channel. Yeah. <laughs> the last thing he's got a smile, yeah. Mike, is his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Hodgepodge says yeah. it looks like I'm polishing a turd. 
<laughs> I'm glad you said I'm fucked because I thought it. Oh, Hodge. That's brilliant. <laughs> oh, we're friends like you guys. Uh, who needs more it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, stick on one end, turn on the other. Yep. <laughs> you, want to, you want a bit of you want a bit of texture on there, no, bro. Light, light brown in colour. <laughs> Guys, he's running a turn and exit with that sausage. Yeah. <laughs> I think oh, I've got to have to clap this off yet. <laughs> oh Jesus, is bad. Just squeeze the, right. We're turning crab was to turn an egg, so I um. I'm stopping. I turned a fried egg as opposed to a fried egg. Yeah. Oh, I found my sound this They year. didn't specify, they just said turn an egg. So I was there colour involved? Or? There was colour involved, yeah. No, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, God, I can't believe that. He's a wild. Right. Let's Brian, part this off part. a tiny little bit more. You have to part that off now, just squeeze, Brian. Is, 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 yeah. Isn't Metro there... Um... Is with a, a, a raised centre is basically what it turned out to be, but... On a serious note, is this is some sort of a, um, a rule that you have to have the radius of the pestle the same, seriously, <laughs> as the same as the bottom of the mortar? It is. Yep. Yeah. I, I'm just wondering, that's all. Brian's done it by eye. It's fine. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. You should. Done it by eye to um, go along with Steve, the Jones. Steve Jones challenge that we found out about at lunchtime. Yes. No, I'm not about to try this evening live on YouTube. Well, I did. Right no. Yeah, I mm. know, but you're a skew expert. And and you're an approved tutor as well. Oh, God, I yeah. That, yeah. Brian, I'm just but, a puppet. Yeah. Mark Stroughton's um, pointed out that obviously the lie is going on this long because Brian needs a nap at his age. To mm. have a half time nap. Quite right. Sorry, that's sorry, that's <laughs> terrible. So you're just a cheek of some people. I, just... I know. But the truth often hurts, Brian. Well, this is true. Mm. So does a brick. What are you suggesting, Pete? The blaze. <clears throat> I'm, just, you know, I'm just, I'm just giving this bottom a little polish. Always <laughs> polish bottom. First take you polish the knob it. Off the bottom. Yeah, well, I had to take the bot, the knob off the bottom. That's the exit wound. The other oh, side. That's the exit wound. This is the entry hole. <laughs> 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 oh dear. Oh dear. This, this is getting worse. Right, let me remove that because I can't do that. Um, you'll, be using, you'll be using the F word on YouTube, mate. <laughs> it's just, I'm getting close. I'm getting close. Going to wood designs, you can't have the end flat. No. You've got to be careful to match the bottom of the bowl. Leo says that looks a bit uh, yeah, short. No. Well, we'll see That's you in a minute. Good for squeezing your that. fingers between the pestle and the mortar. Well, That's why you've got rolled edges to the, uh, to the mortar. Too, so you, you don't... If it's two shots, make walls fault. You don't cut your knuckles then when you're mess when you're messling and portering. Put that on now. Well, Mark's second. Well, everything's Mark's fault, of course. But this is this in this case is Mike Walt's fault. Thanks very much. It's all right, any time. Notoriety. <laughs> is that for sanding off your uh, tenon? <laughs> no, I haven't got to sand in the tenon yet. Hold on. Sanding the tenon off. I'm looking for this thing. I need to sand the end of this a bit. 20 grit. So the palm end needs to be kind of smooth and yeah, flattish. Because you don't uh, push too up you know, when you're pushing in. It doesn't hurt your hand. Ben said, could the title of this video be From Log to Log? Indeed. Nice one, Ben. So more time is required on the on the bottom here to get it the right shape, but I'm not gonna spend all day. Or all night. Do oh, it now. You meant all night and all day, Terry. Uh, all day tomorrow. All day, all night, Midian, down by the seaside. <laughs> Stop yeah. singing. Doing something in the sun. A log. Sure Pretend it's the correct size, Brian. Do not do a log, sir. <laughs> Mr. Walt, stop it. Okay. So that's uh, that'll do. 
We'll make no more mention of cable. Yeah, it's too small. I made it too small. Told you. <laughs> Told you. Told, Told you. you that when you started. Told you that. Told you. And you want to lesson. save that bit on the end. That's too she, short. She but MG has said, some blood adds to the flavour, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, we'll need this night. What time is it? MG's on 995. Come on, people. I will sub time afterwards. 22.10. Don't worry about the time, Brian. Here. I don't worry about the time, Brian. We've got I don't know why you guys all worry about time. I don't. No, no you never do, mind you? Yeah, yeah, we don't know it. Carry on when people go, you know. My I carry on when they're gone as well. <laughs> Talk to myself for a bit. I'll be that in the middle there somewhere, about there somewhere, where that's supposed to be. That's the wrong centre. Come out of there, you. Robert Hodgepodge says you should have eaten a bigger meal. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm running. <laughs> Robert, which it gets us in the you did videos, Brian. He does. <laughs> does he not? No. no. We oh, didn't know you did finishes, Glenn. He don't. Doesn't. He don't do a finish. He doesn't. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Joe Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. You've been Joe. singing in your in your absence, Josephine. Please oh, stop singing. this not singing. Please You're singing, Joe, in your absence. Not me, not me. Don't blame me. My fault. I didn't send you the link this evening. I've got yeah, We had Terry in. and Mike. <laughs> and Steve had a go at all. No. no. Didn't you? <laughs> oh, I thought. Nah. It was Love just it. you two that tortured us all. Let's hope that'll stay on. I thought it was pretty good, Mike, didn't you? Yeah, I thought so for us anyway. We sang it to the tune of Les Dawson playing the piano. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they sound like the piano was out of tune. Yeah. It usually is. <laughs> right, shut up your earworms. Brian, for the turn of the less experience, can you explain what you're cutting here? Why are you doing it that way? Why I'm cutting it, because yeah. I'm cutting it this way. It's a one sensible bit in the video. So, <laughs> so is it, I'm keeping the pressure against the headstock. If you go in sideways, a good chance of flipping that out of there. But I'm just cutting it this way, and I'm using the bottom wing. And keeping all the pressure towards the headstock. And if I do have to go in from the side, uh, watch my video on a week on Wednesday, you'll see why. If you do have to go in from here, you need to keep the bevel pushing in that direction. Just like that. And take fine cuts. And watch you don't get a catch when you get that far. So that's why I'm doing it in this direction. And the other trick is, make sure you don't catch the bottom wing either. Well, that's enough sense so, now. So when you get <laughs> yeah. to there, just roll, it, roll, that, you, roll the fluid oh. completely close. <laughs> yeah. Bad enough of that. Anybody think you're trying to teach us something? <laughs> get a badge. Get a, get a badge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> get a badge. Right, what do I need now to cut that off with? Spindle gauge. <laughs> Little oh, spindle oh. gauge. Get the stop switch so it's down by my knee. Rub the bevel and try and cut that off. I need to get a bit further in. This doesn't apply to Terry because that would have to be up for his chest then. <laughs> Joe, it was, it was Terry and Mike who were singing. It was awful. But it wasn't so. If I can keep the, the pressure, the knob has stopped turning now, but the, the bevel is holding that in place and just switch the lathe off. Hold the piece. We'll draw the head stop. Good night. Been there forever, hold your piece. Well demonstrated, Mr. Roosby. Yeah. Thank you, guys. And you can see there's just a tiny little bit to be sanded off there, but I'll do that later, guys, because we're getting a bit late. Let me just remove this. And this. <clears throat> Lewis, can you post your uh, channel link in for later, please? How many, how many other people take their chucks off that way? What, yeah. using the... Uh... Yeah, using the jaws as opposed to the key. No, I do sometimes if we can't get it off with the... It won't come off easily. 
Yeah, on, yep, on I, your, I, do, I do all the time because this tool here, so the chucks are this thing is, is absolutely time. useless. Mm. Yeah. No, so uh, I do all on, the time. Because you don't need I'll, to with Axminster, it's much easier. Yeah. yeah, I just use the key all. Yeah. yeah, but it's a square key, so it's easier. Yes, that's true. Yeah. And it's a big a, key. You mean there's a lot so, more thought got into the so design the idea, of the chuck. Yeah, yeah, obviously. So the idea of yeah. me using the, the bar across here yeah as i keep it so it's quite tight yeah, so yeah. it's not mm. it's not leaving against mm. a single point it's leaving mm. against the whole thing and it turns the chuck easily yeah but you've got a that's, ball end in there haven't you that, that's yes. that's the difference because you could actually I, yeah yeah good. you could have put it in and just give it a dunt yeah but yeah. it doesn't work with the ball end no unfortunately so let's have a look at this um put that there put that there Switch that oh. camera there for a second. I'll put the flush next to it. Put what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chain with a handle. Chain with a handle. <laughs> <laughs> kind of toilet freshener. Yeah. Put that next to it. For brief. <laughs> but it, it, it is a bit. Oh, God. Hmm. I despair. <laughs> I despair. Uh, I absolutely oh. despair with you guys. There we go. You got a toilet as well. There we go. Click. 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 It's perfect. It works a treat. Look at that. Mallet is not it down. It works a treat. Perfect. The mallet is getting right in the pan. It's a toilet brush, man. It's a plunger. Yeah. What? <laughs> What's the mallet for? Right, your, your mallet looks like a toilet brush. I know, that's why it's there. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case we need to give it a bit of a... That's my other pestle that's a that big, I made. That's a big pestle. pestle. There we go. That looks, it's really good. We're done. Excellent, excellent demo, mate, really. <laughs> the curve at the bottom is matches the curve of the pestle. Down into the right, into the bottom, where the grinding <laughs> takes place. So we're perfect, good to go. Brilliant. There we go, guys. All right, Brian. Well I'm going to bring you half of this bike and ice. Comes an hour and three quarters. That's ridiculous. It is. Rob from Caprao so, says, "Beautiful mustache and pistol, Brian." <laughs> <laughs> there you go, guys. He's a backhand. Uh, oh, yeah. I enjoyed that. That was good fun. We, we should enjoy ourselves here, should we, really? <laughs> yeah. That was good fun, guys. Thanks very much for coming in and joining us. We had a few people in, which is, and there's a few people left. So that was good. Uh, Anybody, any questions on a mortar or pistol? No. Good. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> we won't be doing another one. We won't be doing another one. We're now having a half hour question and answer. <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> Trevor Reach is great entertainment, guys. Well, that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a bit, a bit of fun. Yeah, and if you fun. learn something along the way, grand. God help us. Sorry. Sorry, very unlikely. Uh, I suppose if they're smiling. reading the book smiling. and watching this, they might learn smiling. something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, dear. Oh. Todd oh, at Glencoe says, excellent presentation, Brian. Oh, Todd. Come Norman on. Gremmel says, despite the earworms, great job, Brian. <laughs> in spite of the earworms, yeah. <laughs> oh, David. David, David enjoyed it. He says thanks. And Roger Mill says nicely done, Brian. Cheers. Usual buzz and fruit and nuts. Usual bunch fruit of fruit and nuts. That's not very nice, is it? No, oh, it's not. brilliant, guys. Well it's true. It's true, but not I very know. nice. You got to say, Mike's you. actually going to go back to work. So yeah. we won't be seeing quite so much of money at Women. It's been good fun having you with us, Mike. Um, yeah, good good fun, yeah. Hopefully you can fun. find spaces between where you can still come and join us. Good Jimmy, yeah, you haven't yeah, got sure. three eyes, isn't it? That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, well, I'm not going to say a word on air. You're <laughs> 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 not touching that one. <laughs> not good with the barge pole, he says. Not good with job the bloke pole. who invented the cat, so I said, saw the cat coming towards him. Oh, look, away. look. Another yeah. plunger. Oh, look, watch. Something, something like miraculous in hand. Look. That's it, right? Mm. Another plunger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's always got two toilets. No, that's for the B day. Right, guys. Let's call it a day. Right, Thanks very um, much for coming in, guys. Good night from Pete. Night all. Good night, guys. Good night. 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 Good night
Good day from uh, Terry. Good night, everybody. Thanks for coming good in. Day. Nice to see you. Good day from Mike. Good night, all. Thanks for coming. And it's good night from Steve. Good night, all. Have a great week. Good night, everybody. Thank you very much for coming in, and we'll see you uh, on Thursday. Bye. Is there any bears before Thursday, no? Yeah. Uh, Andy H and Keith. Oh, yeah, and, Keith. Andy Keith. H is on tomorrow lunchtime, and Keith no. will be on tomorrow night. Um, uh, Wayne, uh, well, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, they're on anyway. Uh, they're on Tuesday. Wayne the Woodturner is on on Wednesday. Yes. And that's all I know. So I'll Liz, see you again Thursday. Don't forget, we've got Liz Fawn on Friday night. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Special Eat Earworm. The, special Earworm, Les Thorn, and Steve's channel on Friday evening. Woodwork oh, Andy. Nice Andy, oh, nice Woodwork Learner. Right. Woodwork Learner says, and you guys are the square of tonight, we've got a video <laughs> release from Lewis. That's correct. Half past ten. Don't forget to go over and support our Lewis. Lewis Conduct Craftsman. Definitely. Thanks, guys. Right, we're off. Good night, everybody. Good night. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.